Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. It's Tower of Eden for the PC. I've seen that this has been the all new rage for the kid, the cool kids. So I decided yeah, I'll test it out and see what's going on. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. I'm running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory, and I'm seeing DirectX 12. Don't like that. Target signal lost. Don't like that at all. Gonna hope, Something gonna hope that that go has direct X11. Probably not with my luck though. Why some crazy stuff's happening? So another Genshin Impact, huh? Well, I didn't test Genshin Impact right as it started, so I thought it'd be more fun to start this much, to test this much sooner. Just to be that guy. What's going on here? What name, Jiv? Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. No, you already have it connected. Yeah, we're gonna finish this should be a lot faster than it actually is. What do you mean connection time? Bruh. 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 They did me like that. I can't believe they did me like that. Bro. Also, this volume is extremely loud. This is way too loud. <laughs> so, guys, you, you you like that? You like how I how I, you want to see me do it again? You like how I started the game there and then it just crashed? Yeah, let's skip this this time, shall we? Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I got it that time, guys. And I think you thought that wouldn't work. So I don't ex once again, this is like Genshin Impact, so I expect this to have, you know, lower settings, you know, low, not too hard graphical, not too hard of anything. I don't, I'm not even getting what I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> I'm not getting what I'm saying. I don't expect this to be very intensive anyway. Like, I mean, look at this it. running right now. I'm running at 4K, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, I am running at 4K extreme settings, so. There's that. Let me just figure out the UI and stuff real quick. Let me just get into everything. You know me, I gotta figure stuff out. Figure these stuff out. How oh, interesting. But like I said, I'm running at 4K right now on the highest preset. I really should do something to change like Control. It's it's showing me the controls. It's not. I feel like it's doing like Genshin Impact. Please don't fail me now. No. Those monsters are in here. It's amazing how these made they made these games because the games do look cool. Got a great animations and stuff. These are some gacha games, man. I don't know how to fight. Now I do. I mean, I expect it to run over 60 FPS at all times, so I kind of that's, that's that's to be expected. 4K is handling itself quite well. I can't really complain. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. It's the other stuff I like testing out to see if it would run properly. Um, I would recommend if you're doing 4K, we frame cap this to 60, but you know. The point of the benchmark though is just to show you guys how it runs like this. We got QTEs up in here.
I had no idea what any of those buttons were gonna be in the controller. Glad they let me just push every. Glad they let me push any button without any fails. <laughs> I'm really glad about that. Also, why is my cursor still on screen? Bro, I don't even have control right now. Why are you lying? <laughs> There's some crazy stuff. <laughs> but he did. Is there really no way to show my um my the settings? Dude, I can't even back up when I get into here. Truly interesting. But like I said, I am I'll remember that next time I launch the game. I'll launch I'll show you guys before I launch it next time, but yeah, I am using 4K. I am Oh. I mean it looks cool, the art style obviously is once again it's Genshin Impact art style. It looks good. But and I knew it was gonna run over 60 uh, 4K all day long, but you know me, the main point of my thing is to see how the integrated graphics handles it. That's always it for me. How will my integrated graphics handle this game? Will it run without any issues? I'm always curious to know. Warning. Suppressor reserves low. I don't know what that means, but I'll imagine it's bad. Looks good though, looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Art style, man. Art style to make the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. I love the fact that we're only using 4.8 gigabytes of RAM. That means it's not very RAM intensive. You could probably get away with 4 gigs of RAM running this game. That is pretty cool. Obviously, it's a mobile. It came from a mobile game, so you know how it works. But I'll see you guys next time.